Hey you guys, it's Jessica. Um, I know, long time no see. I haven't made a video in forever. Um, I'm sorry, I've just been, life has been crazy, work has been extremely busy, and by the time I get home, I'm just exhausted. I go straight to bed. Um, but yeah, exciting news though, I'm actually moving in July. I'm super happy and excited to move. Um, I'm still staying, staying within the same city, but I'm moving to the northern part where it's kind of away from some stuff and it's more mellowed out and it's just not in the midst of crazy, crazy chaos, uh, which I want, so that's exciting. Um, but yeah, I've just been busy, so I'm sorry I haven't been able to make videos like I want to. Um, but yeah, I also have a mini haul, um, but first before I get to that, let's talk about this, this hair that I have out today. Um, it's a little frizzy, well a lot frizzy, but this is actually six day hair for me. This is unheard of. I hardly ever get six day hair this defined, this good. By probably on the fourth day, I just end up washing and redoing it, but... I want you guys to see kind of the definition. If you can see these curls in the front especially, um, these tend to be kind of like my looser curls, um, especially these right here, because I, um, during the week I have been putting my hair in a bun or back in a ponytail, and usually by the end of the week or by that fourth day, my hair is just frizzy and all this out here is straightened, but look kind of how curly it still is. Yes, it's frizzed out. Even these parts I still have some good definition. Um, and then I'll show you the back, if you can see. Um, this is my tighter side in the back over here, but you can see, like these curls up in here, how defined and like coily they are. These guys back in here always get stretched out first as well. But, yeah, you can kind of see. Sorry it's not that great, but hopefully you can kind of see how defined they still are especially for being sixth day. Super excited about that. Um, and I will tell you exactly why, what products, and all that stuff. I'm going to do an updated hair routine video, so if you're interested, be on the lookout for that. But I do have a mini haul, like I just said. And I actually was talking to Tasty Redbone. Hey! Um, and she was asking me if I bought any new products recently, and I was telling her no, just because since I am moving in July, I was trying to not buy unnecessary products that I didn't need, just because I am excited to move, but I hate moving, and I don't want any excess stuff that I have to bring, so I was going to wait to buy all new purchases until I moved. But, of course, that didn't happen. You guys know me. I like to buy stuff. Um, and one of these, only one, it's a small haul, but only one of these I actually needed, and the rest of it was all purely impulse. Um, but from Comart, I actually needed some more of the Be My Luscious um, Balance Cream Moisturizer, which I've done a review on this, and I love this stuff to death. This is a staple. This is my number one moisturizer. I use it every single day. It's nice and light and airy and very, very moisturizing. A little goes a long way. And I still have a good bit left in my other jar, but what had happened was I let my boyfriend um, use some one day, and, you know, he was just saying that his, he's trying to grow out his hair because he wants braids, and he was just saying, my hair is dry, and I was like, oh, use some of my moisturizer, not thinking that he would actually like it as much as he did, because it has like a light, kind of sweet, lemony like lemon meringue scent, and I'm like, that's just kind of, you know, girly ass scent, he wouldn't like it, but he straight up jacked it out of my bathroom, like, I was without this for a week, and almost lost my mind, swear to God, but he was finally nice enough to give it back, he did use some of it, I think he actually took some out and put it in a separate container, because I don't think there's no way he could have used that much, I don't know, but, um, so I still have, like, a quarter of the jar that I have left, and I just went ahead and repurchased a new one. I also got, which I didn't need, but everyone's been talking about recently, it seems like every other video, people have been talking about my honey child. So, I got the honey hair mask, um, which Lulu Matu just did a review on this, and she was one of the reasons why I bought this, because she was saying how great it was, and I got super excited, and yeah, I had to get it. Um, 
but it smells like heaven. It's like honey, sweetness, I don't know. Really, really sweet smell, which I love. You guys know I love sweet smells. This um, conditioner is a little liquidy. You can't really tell, but it's it's not as thick as some conditioners, uh, or deep conditioners for that matter, but it's kind of got a medium thickness, but even just rubbing it together like this, I can tell this has some good slip, um, and it feels really nice and smooth, so I'm super excited about trying this. I have high hopes for this stuff, but yeah, this is, I think is $10 at Chromart. So, my other impulse buys are finally from Oyan Handmade. I have been wanting to try their products forever, and I'm so happy that I finally did because I am in love. And I will say, I will try not to go overboard because I'm doing a separate review on these products because I love them so much. But, um, I got the Honey Hemp Conditioner which you guys have seen, I'm sure, a million and one times. There's a gazillion reviews out there. But it, this stuff is great. All the reviews, all the good reviews on it, it's true. Um, it's, it smells great, great detangling. It's good as a deep conditioner. It's good as a co-wash. It's good as a leave-in. It's just all around good. I love this stuff. This is the 16 ounce size. Okay, um, I also got the hairdo, which is their new kind of leave-in. They marketed it as. Um, I also use it as a curl refresher, next day refresher. Um, this is really good. It smells really sugary. Um, people say it smells like the burnt sugar pomade. I haven't tried that yet. To me, it smells like sugar cookies. Um, it smells really good. It's really sweet smelling um, and really light. I like this stuff, too. Um, and last but not least, I got the Shine and Define Gentle Styling Serum, which you guys know this isn't a serum. It's more of like a, it's like a whipped consistency, if you can see that. Hopefully. I'm trying to get it. There we go. It's like a whipped kind of consistency. It's really light, though. Um, that's what it looks like. It's really light. Um, it uh, kind of has the same texture as the Be Mine moisturizer. So it looks like a heavy product, but it's not. It's really light. I really, um, I love this stuff, too. But I'm going to ref I'm going to restrain myself from saying anything else because I'm just going to do a separate review altogether. Um, but other than that, that's that's it. That's my mini haul. I didn't get that much stuff. But yeah, I just wanted to come on and say hey, you guys. I'm still alive. If anyone's left me comments or messaged me, I tried to get back to them. Um, I have some new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoy my videos and they're somewhat helpful. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'm probably going to do another video since I'm, it's on my mind. I'm probably going to do an Oyen, Oyen review. Um, so if you're interested, be on the lookout for that. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'll answer them for you. And I hope you guys have a great day. So I'll see you soon. Bye.